There is an old oblique scar, three quarter inches at the mid third of the upper lip. The scar ends at the anterior of the hairline. There is a flattening of the prominence at the junction of the bony portion of the nasal bone and the cartilaginous septum. <laughs> Extending across the upper lip to the left nostril is an odd irregular scar, 7 8 by 1 8 that ends at the mucocutaneous border. <laughs> Suture cross scars are present. Scar ends the lower right lip. A vertical linear scar on the right upper lip looks to have come from youth. Winter white light like a sword in the sun. Terry, keep your fingers off the screen. Warm nights under quilts. Whispers back and forth, saves and misses. How'd you know he was gonna shoot it high? Because it looked like right, he was gonna know. shoot it. The goalie's the punching bag if he leaves. And hero if he went. I tell Mitch he was mental playing goal. Anybody's girl would rather be with you. Hey, wait. Wait, which girl? Ugh! Terry! Buffalo's getting the team next season. Buffalo. Spent a month there one night. Who's in there? Red? Game's gone now. I hardly ever watch it anymore. Cheerleader. Kids who train in a boxing ring. What's that got to do with a puck and a net? <laughs> what was it I was going on about? Oh, you know, uh, an athlete used to live in the, the moment. It's in my memories that I live. Terry Sacha. I remember Terry Sacha. Uh, how could you get a handle on a guy like him? Yeah. Sacha. Even his name means hockey to me. And uh, when I'm picking my team and uh, Afterlife? <laughs> He'll be backstopping us for sure. Would he know that? Are we on yet? Hello, Canada and hockey fans in the United States and Newfoundland. Sacha? <laughs> Gee. Why don't you ask me something a little easier? Stay low, stay forward, see the shot before it leaves the stick. No, don't let that dog in this house. He's not having puppies in here. What? I'm taking Mitch with me to the plant. Mm. 
Louis Bob says he has scouts coming to look at him any day now. Yeah, and this winter will burn the floorboards to stay alive. Take Terry. Boys will crucify Terry. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I need Mitch. Who's gonna take care of that quarter wood, huh? Lady? Lady? Come on, girl, what's wrong? You're okay, you're, you're just frozen. You're, you're gonna wake up. Come on. Just frozen, please, come on. What are you doing? They're okay. They're just frozen. They're gonna wake up. <gasps> no! They're dead. And a good thing, too, we would have had to drown them. <gasps> now get them out of here before your mother sees them. Thank God this dog's in heaven. Heaven doesn't have pups running around. I don't want to go. In heaven, I'll be as good a goalie as you. Think too much, Terry. All you have to do is stop the puck. Stay low, stay forward. Like last night, Jimmy Day's coming at me at full speed. I mean, let's fly a shot, and it's 100 miles an hour, definitely close to that. And I'm thinking, stay low, stay forward. And I see it before he lets the shot fly. And it's a bullet in the glove, no rebound. You should have seen his face. He thought he had me, and that'll teach him to bring his girl to a game. I feel bad for him. Who wants a soda? Uh. Hey. Mitch? Mitch! Gentleman says the body's gonna stay in storage until the ground thaws. Stop it. something like a question in the air that will linger from now on. Take Terry. I need Mitch. nights I'd hear him in his sleep ah. stay low stay forward forget the names they sing at you through the screen ah. such preparedness I'd lie awake and think ah. and so I got accustomed to the view from here you watch them come at you in waves you watch them fly away a brief flicker of relief, but they'll be back. 
to knock on the gate one more time. I could leave, but where would I go? This is my only home. Bob, Jack Adams. Listen about that goalie you're hiding up there in the frozen north. I'm hearing good things. Suit him up with the Spitfires, will ya? Time to see what young Mr. Sawchuck can do. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lil, is there no way to make this water a bit hotter? All aboard! You can do it without, because I'm giving that to you. Think about that before you piss it all away. Yeah, turn this into bags of money, Mom. I'm gonna send it all back home on this ferry train. Don't be proud. Uh, go on. You miss your train standing a foot away from it, you would. And for my money, Jack Adams wanted to bring Terry down to Windsor to get a glimpse across the river at the Detroit skyline. He was known to do things like that. They say he did the same thing to Harry Lumley a few years earlier. At the time, teams had only one goalie, one sweater per team. Detroit had Lumley, and he'd just won them the Stanley Cup. Mr. Adams, you had a lot of skeptics questioning how you put the team together this year. Bet you felt the pressure. Bet you feel like a clever dog now. I'm not the one out there on the ice. Sometimes a sports desk gets it right. I am a clever dog. Harry Lumley has traded his goalie stick for a pair of crutches tonight. He'll be okay. The question is, will Detroit be okay? We're hearing good things about this kid from Winnipeg, Harry Sacha. Hey, Lumley. His head's too big for your sweater. We can figure that out before you get in front of the net, kid. Lumley, you're like his mom. You get that first shot, kid. You'll be fine. Yep, there he is. Whose game are you gonna play today, son? Yours. Yours. Right. At our level right off the top, we're gonna grind these sons of bitches down, boys. Let's go, Red Wings, let's go! Open the door. There we go. Tony goes first. Yep. large for him. They got it down to two in the end, yes. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Promise not to tell anyone you said that. Go try it, The whiz kid misses the first shot. He's really got to look at his stance in the net there. Okay, now listen, kid. This is no different from the miners, all right? Just bigger paychecks and better women. You like women, don't you? Yeah, it's like if we were brothers. Attack 
chances in the third, uh, but we kept in it. The players, the players up here, they don't try the same trick twice. I learned that much. But uh, mistakes like that, they they cost me a couple goals tonight, and I won't let the same thing happen on Wednesday. I want either one of you have a nickel so I can call my mom. <laughs> Holy shine, oh la Louis! You better listen to this. Yeah, I'm shocked. Uh, I had no idea. We, do, we just won the cup. But as they say, who buys a house in Detroit with Adams during the show, right? Trader Jack is showing his hand. It'll be his farm team phenom, Terry Sawchuck, leading the team. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Um... No, sorry. Wait a minute. You're Detroit Zoo goalie. And so he is, Mr. Terry Sotchuk. We got royalty in here. Can I get an autograph for my son? Uh... Sure. Uh... You saw something you liked in the window? No, I, uh... I can't afford him. Now, they pay you, don't they? What? Uh, yeah, but uh, then I pay my landlord and then the rest goes to my parents. Good man. But you're gonna have to look sharp now that you're representing Detroit. I'll let you pay $2 a week, no interest. You'll have them paid off by January. Jan, well, they won't do me much good in the dead of winter. <laughs> Nonsense, you wear them out today. You let me do that? If you stiff me, I know where to find you, don't I? Stopping those dirty French pucks. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I sure hope so. Now, son, in Detroit, we expect you to bring more than just hope. I'll, I'll try one. All right. Uh, <laughs> All thank right. You. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Fancy shoes. Making me work for my tips today. I got a Break in these shoes, I guess. <laughs> Stew, huh? Is that gonna be as good as my mother's Ukrainian dumplings? I don't think I can serve you in here. Well, why not? You look like a hockey player. I am. Well, if you play for Detroit, I'd have noticed you. I'm well. Detroit's new goalie. Then I guess I'll serve you. I just won't get too attached. As for the dumplings, I've never tried them, but I bring them home to Bobby some nights and he's a big fan. Stu like his mamas.
Montreal still holds the better record, and no one hates losing more than Jack Adams. <laughs> Lil, the radio's falling. Hey, what are you so happy about? We lost. Oh, but I have a special friend supposed to visit me tonight. Oh, yeah? What's his name? That's his hey, name. Hey, uncle! Hey, don't mind Boyer. He's got to touch every player after a game. Gordy says if you want to touch him, it's got to be his balls. Get off me! No. Come on, come on, get off me! Calm down. Hey, uh, snappy shoes. Oh, yeah. You must have shelled out for him. Oh. Come Maybe on. pull it. Pull. Yeah, pull it. Pull harder. Come on, there you go. That's it. That's Gordon it. did this pain for it. Come on, Gary. He's just fucking. So, how are you settling in with the boys? There you go, son. Thanks. There won't be anything in your life after like belonging to a team. Take it from a land of experience. No, where does this sort of sacrifice and loyalty exist anymore, right? It's an ancient game with ancient laws. But God, I love it. Mm. Now they get you some new shoes, I see. The fellow's got a bit of a sense of humor there. Oh, no, Mr. Adams. I... Mr. Sawchuck, if there's one thing I know in this world to be true, you are worth the investment. Thank you. Please. Oh, that really is nice on the toes. Yeah. <sighs> Pronovo, tough as a bag of batteries. So he gets the puck to me. I see the vecchio. Open. You get a chance. You got to make the best of it. And, and then Sacha. Then Terry with the save. Sacha tonight would like. Hey, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. 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 Um, I thought it was a team effort. Um. I thought we really took it to him tonight. We played a full 60 minutes. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the playoffs, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, Sacha, everyone's saying you've got the skills to become one of the greatest goalies in history. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Hello to all that, huh? Everybody loves a winner. I need eight more of them to get the cup. Can you get me eight wins? Okay. All right. Jack, it's his elbow again. The doc says he needs surgery. Surgery? Get off him. Yeah. How you feeling, son? Huh? Look at that face, tough as nails. I knew it the first time I set eyes on him. You need this one, Jack. Toughness, heart. This is your man, I said. If he goes out there, it's not going to heal proper. You know, they popped out his eye one time when he played in the minors. Took a stick blade right to the eye. They just patched it up and popped it back in. No, someone plays with that kind of heart and that kind of sacrifice for his team. That's someone that you do not send to the hospital unless he says he needs to go. Huh? You ready to play? Yeah, I'm good. I'm you good. I go back. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. 
Out on the ice, with the game on the line, that's where I was alive. When you saw those words up over the arena doors, hockey tonight, man, they picked up your step. They told you life was good, the woman with you was just the right woman, whichever joint you were heading for was just the place to be before the game. Detroit leaves Montreal after taking the first two games of the Stanley Cup Finals. That's three games in the books, boys. We got Montreal on their heels. But I'll tell you, the game that ends a team season is the hardest one to win. Yeah. You're against the ropes, getting desperate. Yeah. Where's Terry? Mm, I, I think, I think he left. It's not a joke. Where is he? Yeah, didn't he? Uh, didn't he mention getting a haircut? No, I, no, I think he talked about like uh, ingrown toenails. Ingrown toenails. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it is. It's not funny, you guys. Fuck you guys. You know, it's on you too. I have a shit game. We all have a shit game. Yeah. Right? Right. Can you read? Yeah, yeah. You better be in the trainer's room. Is he going? Let's get the fuck out of here. Just yeah, be quiet, okay? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Terry, quit it. You can burn a hole right through it. <laughs> what? You like it? No. Which one? No, Marcel. No, no, no. No, no. no she has a boyfriend, Bobby or something. It is, it is, it is. No, no, no. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, please. Hey, is for horses. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> pardon me, mademoiselle. But, um, may I bother you for a second? Do you know who this is? You're looking at our ticket to the top right there. I'm working. Okay, pardon me. We were just wondering if, um, Bobby's still in the picture? Bobby's still in the picture. Only has three legs now since the tractor ran over him. Thank you so much for asking. Bobby's my dog. <laughs> okay. You're in. I'm so sorry. Okay, so he lives know. at... I, no, myself. Yes, no, he I lives don't. at 67 Military I, Road. I, I do live there, no. No parents or anything. What? No, no, wait, wait, wait. She's not even gonna... It's game over. You're gonna have to jerk it. You're a fucking... <laughs> that was smooth. Yeah. Really smooth. Good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very smooth. Get out there and take it, boys. It's our game tonight. Full energy right off the hop, boys. Gonna get to our game, speed. You're gonna dump those pucks in deep. You will own the neutral zone. No mercy, no mercy. We will finish them off tonight. Who's ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yuki, I'm standing on your head all season. Isn't any different? No different. No different. Front of all. Ready to make their lives miserable? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How are you feeling, son? Good, sir. Good. Gordy, you ready to take another walk around this block? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. No matter what happens in this building, you and I, we know the game is played between those blood red posts. All right, this is it. Here we go. Nothing else matters but tonight, boys. Montreal, Montreal's got nothing on you. Open the door. Goalie goes first. You've got the greatest goaltender in the league at one end, the kid, Sachuk. Bearing down on him, the greatest goal scorer in hockey history, Rocket Richard. This is one for the history books, ladies and gents. Hold your families close. Take the phone off the hook. Detroit could win it all tonight. Welcome to the first elimination game of the Stanley Cup Finals! 
Out on the ice, with the game on the line, everyone depending on me, half into an animal crouch, like some poor bugger getting drilled before a firing squad. Too late for last words. Christ! Dick, you gotta take it easy. We've got three times the shots on goal, but it's 3 nothing for them. How do you beat Sawchuck? He knows what you're gonna do before you do it. I lie awake at night. I think you're always gonna leave me. Coach, the mid-stroke. Harvey, what the fuck was that? That has an octopus. What? Am I losing my damn mind? Eight legs, eight wings. We wanted it bad, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, Terry was possessed. We tried to stay up, but we knew crawling back from a three-nil deficit with him in the net was impossible. <laughs> Hey, Dick, you see a goddamn referee tonight? All right, I'll get back, Terry. Good job, Marcel. That's it. Intense for your first NHL game either, Cola. No, we're always ready in Edmonton for when we get our chance. <laughs> Who's good up there anyway? Gotta see this goalie. Glenn Hall. Red's like a butterfly. Right, you hear that, Yuke? You better watch your back. Got a butterfly in the woods. <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. You gotta put chicken bones in boy to his hockey bag. See if he washes it over the summer. Or if he's covered in maggots next fall. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! A lot more, Terry. Proud of you, boys. Enjoy. Wake up in a pool of your own vomit. Yeah, it's good to be home. But I'll be ready to get back once fall hits, that's for sure. You know, speaking of getting back, I should. What? No, see you at the plant, boys. What do we do? No, I, I'm buying. Stick around. Lucky for you, your dad got you on. They're cutting jobs. You been up to see Mitch yet? No, not yet. I'm gonna get up there. Just, just one on one, yeah? There's a lot of pressure down there. But, hey, if things keep going like this, I could get a good salary real soon. Maybe I can get you and Mom a nicer house. Nicer? Not nicer, just... I, I can send more money home. Yeah. Now. We should get going. Yeah. Yeah. Your mother want to see you in the morning? Yeah, I think I might stick around for one more. Suit yourself. Hey, can I get one more before I head home? Just, yeah. just one more? It's nice to be home. Nice to be home. Hello? 
Pronovo. Hey, it's you. How are you doing? Jeez, Terry? Yeah. You all right? It's two in the morning. <laughs> what are you doing? I just, uh... No, I was wondering if you remembered... What, what game it was. You pulled that prank on Boyder? So I got a, I got a, I got a group of people here, and they were, uh, they were, they were wondering, and I said, I know who has a memory of a fucking elephant. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, just, I'll, I'll let you go. I was. Hey, wait. Do you, have you heard anything about um? Jack is happy, right? He, he's happy with the way the team as it is, right? Uh, I don't know, Terry. Why don't you call him at two in the morning and ask him? Okay. 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 Have a good one. Ah. Ah. Thank God that's dogs in heaven. I'm sure he does. In heaven, they're allowed inside, and they're even allowed to drink cokes. Where the hell is my kettle? Ah, Mr. Norris, there's your team. This bunch here, they play like they can read each other's minds. Magical. For what I shell out, they better be damn genies. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yes, indeed. Derry Sarcher. In the flesh. Flesh is right. You got fast. <laughs> I'll make damn sure he burns it off, sir. Hey, Terry, come on in. Mr. Norris, nice to see you again. How are you, Terry? Good, good. Now let's get some on the scale, huh, son? Let's see what we got here. Try this. Let me try to get with a cigarette in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> you spend the off season eating Ukrainian dumplings out of the Calder Trophy. <laughs> it's game time. You gotta drop the weight, right? The fans, they're fickle. They love you one night and hate you the next. That's not getting right. I'll get the weight down. All right. Okay. Good. Hit that door on your way out if you wouldn't mind. Okay. <laughs> the football player. Hockey. I don't care much for either. My dad owns this place, so I fake it. Hockey's good for business. Well, I'm a goalie. And the job of the goalie is to stop the puck from going in, in the net. And when you do, you're the hero. When you don't, you come to the bar alone. Looks like it gets pretty rough. Try that again, Merle, and I'll dig it in the back of your skull. <laughs> Jesus, were you part lying? <laughs> Maybe I should have a goalie to stand right there between me and all of them. You, need, you mean a defenseman? I think I'd rather a goalie. You hungry? Tonight's gravy's so thick you could walk on it. 
I'll just take a whiskey. What's going on in Detroit? The Wings are not the same team they were last year. This team we play for myself. Detroit, they're hanging me out to dry. They're hanging me out to dry. Feel no need for a drink after that one. No, I, uh, uh, yeah. Fucker. Get out of here. Christmas with his foot in the cast. That came off. And Pulford skated over three of his fingers. Besides starving himself, cuts, bruises, disc ruptures from that crouch, he was only sleeping three hours a night. But he would have remembered what happened when Lumley was out with a broken ankle. Great. You're not gonna believe this. Glenn Hall is in town doing a hockey camp. Just left his hotel for the airport. We're gonna, no, we're gonna no, catch no, him no. at the forget airport. Forget the freeze, forget the freeze. Just teach me how to get me back out there. Have you seen Let your him face? Go. We're good here. We're good here. All right, forget it. I guess we're good here. Stitch him up. It's only a couple of years since they tossed him Lumley sweater. Six goalies in the league, one sweater per team. With general managers short on cotton and patience, we goalies were constantly looking over our shoulders. Love me tonight, too. Oh, fuck this is. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Not a bad night. Mm -hmm. I'm not drunk. I just decided to have dinner. Right. Detroit loses a fourth straight despite Sajak turning away an unbelievable 48 shots on goal. Terry, what were you thinking when you let that easy one by in the third? I don't know. Is the pressure to repeat the season you had last year getting to you? Why don't you get out there and take 50 shots to the face? I'll ask you how you feel about it, okay? Hey. Out. Where are we? Where are we? Detroit. No, you invalid. Rock bottom! That's where we are! 
And you sorry sons of bitches better figure out a way to climb out. Unless you want to be playing for coal mine workers of America next season, which is all you'll be fit to do. And you, not enjoying the pucks coming at you? Maybe you're not fit for the job anymore. Well, we're out of the playoffs anyway. What did you say? I said we're out of the playoffs anyway. We have five games left. I don't mean anything. And I got these press jerk offs in front of my face and shit. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't want that. You don't want shit in the face. Get down and shit on the floor. Shit on the floor! You can't even fucking do that, right? I got no room on my hockey club for anyone who can't take the heat. Jack. Jack's a dumb name, Jack. It sounds like a cat throwing up. You wouldn't name a kid Jack. Not in your life. Maybe Penelope. I like Anthony. Mm. I had a regular named Anthony. He always took his pants off when he drank Canadian whiskey. I bet when you name a kid Anthony, you forget about all the Anthonys that you didn't like before. I didn't say I didn't like him. You know, I always liked the name Charles. Chuck? Chuck? Chuck saw Chuck? Who says my babies are going to be saw Chucks? Well, I'm not sitting here coming up with baby names for you and some other fella. Mm, wow, you don't waste any time. <laughs> Take a shot when you, uh, when you get the chance. But if Jack trades me, I'm gonna have to start all over with some some Catholic girl from Boston or a French girl from Montreal. <laughs> other what kind of dad would you be anyway? Always on the road, never home. No, no way, no way. I'd flood the yard, make a rink. I'd teach them all to play hockey. I have my own little team of midgets. Bet on them, retire. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Why? Okay. Will you marry me? If if that's what you're asking. Well, yeah, it is now. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> what if I got hurt and I couldn't play? That's easy. I'd just leave you for Merle the drunk. He's gonna inherit a fortune when his mother dies. <laughs> I would live in a railway car and beg for a living if it meant that I got to do with Mr. Terry Sacha. You just have to promise me one thing, that every now and then you'll take your mind off hockey. My mind's not of hockey now. Hey, I, um, uh, I'm sick about how we went out this year. I let the pressure get to me. Two years in a row, you win the Vezina Trophy, and all you think about are the pucks that you got in. I'm getting married. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I know you said to, to stay away from the girls, so I, I figured I'd do it in the off season. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, but, but come fall, I'll be focused on my game. Good. 
Not worried about it. Just, uh, just think about the future. You know? Um, maybe buy a house. Just, just not sure. Hmm. You and me, huh? Always in the balance if we don't perform. I think of you as a son, Terry. I expect to be invited to that wedding. see some, some uh, teeth around here, would you, buddy? You got it. Son of a bitch, that. That stuff doesn't bother these guys. Terry is a professional. They just tune that stuff out. Right there. Terry. Well, Keaton, fellas, I can you just give me a minute? I'm, I'm in a little pain here. How do you think kids who look up to you would feel about you going after a fan? Okay, oh. please, guys. Just for a minute. Just give him some space. Okay, please, please. Do you know how many people would love to be in your position? Okay, come I on, that's think, enough. I think this is the first time in hockey we've seen someone come That's enough. Special, like... oh, what Terry. the fuck are you doing? It's okay. Calm down. All right, let's go, fellas. You got enough, huh? Thanks. Yo, what the hell? It's not bad enough that in the supermarket they're asking my wife, what the goddamn is the matter with Terry Sawchuk now? What are these guys gonna write? How's it gonna look, huh? The inmates are running the ship. I'm the one standing on my head out there! Maybe you need to rest. No. Yeah, I'm calling Glenn Hall up from Edmonton. If that pond hockey hit won't last a fucking game! Gets it up the ice to Jeffrey on, who shoots, kicked away by Hall. This kid's coverage is something else. Terry, you hungry? What? The Canadians are testing him tonight. Steak, salad, jello. God damn it, Pat, I don't, I don't want any food next oh, to the, next to the chest. It's fine. Sawchuck's injury seemed a real blow to the wings, fighting for a playoff spot. But Hall's proving himself nicely. Jack Adams must be feeling relieved at that. He's going to replace me. Oh, he's gonna replace me. No. He's done with me. One day he's calling me son, and then the next day I'm out in the fucking cold. You don't need him. Jesus really. Christ, Pat, I can't eat this fat shit! Another shot, gloved by Hope. I, uh. I'm sorry. Is that you? You're the only good thing. It's okay. I know this has been tough. Six goalies in the league, one sweater per team. You're working paycheck to paycheck. Barely scraping by. Yeah, at the good old hockey game. You'll ask for everything you got, and in the end, it'll kill you. Goalies first. Hey! Hey, can I get in there? Heard a uh, catcher in, in baseball once said, there must be some reason we're the only ones facing the other way. <laughs> it's like I'm holding God.
would have thrown himself in front of a bus for that team in the first five years. That's the kind of goal he was. Hello? It's a boy. It's a boy. Boy, I wonder how he's going to like living in Boston. Boston? You turn on the radio. They traded you to the Bruins. Hey, pal. My wife had a baby. Yeah, I know that. Uh. Oh, know what? I think we should go see her. Come on, I'll drive you. Hmm? I need, I need Jack shouldn't need him. Go listen, man. It's two in the morning. Jack is not even in the building. Let's go home. I'll drive you. Please, get in the car. No, fuck the car! Please. Everything came to the way. Yeah, I know. Well, I did. I came to the wedding. You had a name card, Jack! Jerry, listen. <sighs> Gonna be okay. Huh? I miss you, brother. <laughs> I miss you too. Right now, <clears throat> time to go to bed. Okay. That's it. Okay. Tell me. Sorry, but you fucking bummed you need it. So he gets to kill that guy. powders. Pull your heads out of your asses and compete out there. You're an embarrassment. We got Terry Sawchuck in goal. We finally have a chance to make the playoffs. So just pull it together. This is our barn. You let them walk into our barn and piss all over our barn. Shit spraying all over our barn, boys, let me tell you. Who's gonna clean up that shit, huh? Hmm? Our barn stinks like shit. And so do you! <laughs> See, guys? This, this is the team bonding we need. We're, we're brothers. This is how it's supposed to be. Come on, man. Look, we're a team. Who the, who's doing that? Schmidt's right. We can make the playoffs with Terry backstopping us, but we, we got a bond. Cal's never been on a roller coaster. Who's never been on a roller coaster? Oh. Well, let's go to a bar, hey? You guys want to go to a bar? All right. Well, let's hit the showers, and then we'll hit the town. Okay. 
You want to come for a drink, Terry? Uh, uh maybe, maybe some other time. Our go because we found ourselves with two tacos. Paul is more advanced now than Sawchuck was when he joined us. Boston's not so bad, Terry. Unless we get those funny accents. You don't think little Jerry and Junior are gonna speak with those accents, do you? Boston. I'm serious. I'm serious. Call the school and complain if the kids talk like that. It's not right. You were all so close in Detroit and then to hear it from your parents. Fantastic. Clean that up before your kid crawls. He doesn't even know how to crawl. Jack's not your family. We're your family. He used you. He needed me. Jack is a guy who got you to shatter your bones to line his pockets. You don't know what you're talking about. You didn't get paid as much as Gordy. Colleen let that slip. Old Obo's acting up again. My friend Audrey, she's a nurse. She says when a bone doesn't set right, it'll hurt forever. Will, can't blame this one on Jack. Happened when I was a kid. I, sh I never had it set. Your parents didn't? No, they didn't know. They didn't like weakness, especially in kids. What, your father whoop you if you broke your arm? <sighs> father was worse. Well, I believe that. I might have put you down. Hey, buddy. He's sleepy. Oh. Oh. I ever tell you about Ladies, puppies. When I tried to bring them back to life. Magic. A wood stove. Our dog had um, a puppies under the porch. It was fifty below winter, and she wanted in. But fat chance of that in a Sawchuck household. They barely let us in. I remember those puppies. Raw little chicken things. Frozen to the to the wood beam. I tried to I, I tried to not tear their little legs. The mom wouldn't have a three-legged dog, not like you, Pat. I got taught a lesson that day. I just wandered in circles for days and days. And you could, you could trace its path in the snow and blood. I never saw grief in my mother's eyes like I did. <sighs> like I did in that dog's. Now you wouldn't. Not even when Mitch, uh... When Mitch died. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to wake the baby. Because you sue temper tantrums. I'll sleep right through Temper tantrums. I was just making my... What would you say that to me? I'm sorry. What would you say that to me? Don't, don't try and make me stay when you know I gotta go, because I'm gonna regret something if you try and make me fucking stay! Please don't go. Mm. I wonder if you haven't had enough there, sir. Hey, Davey, this is Mr. Terry Sawchuck. Boston's very famous goalie. 
instead of dying a battle the night before a game is what makes me so good. Hmm? Maybe bourbon is a little secret. No, I have to prove you. Is it my pickup line? Don't worry, I'll get him home. Mr. Franco, came four in the 52 series. All those bruises. Practice. And the shiner. Practice. You okay? Yeah. Chuck takes on his old team tonight as Boston heads to Detroit. Seed, son. Hey, um, this is for the shoes. What? I never paid you back. I don't like old people. Come on now, sit down, please. <sighs> okay, I traded you. It's a team. Not a family. I never thought it was a family. You weren't the only one worried about his job. It's a shit part of mine, too, you know. If I were a cattle farmer, feeding and looking after cows and cows every day, and one of them stands out, a great one, that I care about, maybe more than the others, that doesn't mean it still won't end up on the barbecue. My job is to make sure the best team is on the ice every day. You know, I don't belong on the best team. Played half the season injured. And why was that? Lumley's day I'll came, too. I'll leave you to the slaughter. Here it comes. Here it comes. And the pitch. He scores! Daddy! That son this of a bitch is drunk again. Are you crazy? Get in here. Do you know what these folks do for me when you're out of town? They take our garbage to the curb. I want those busy noses going through our garbage, looking for autographs. Look at the diapers here, Terry, what are you doing? 
I'm headed to the bathroom. For heaven's sakes, I've had it. Oh, now, now, you woke up the baby. Jerry? Jerry? Meow, yeah, oh, you're such a big boy here. Pass me your sister. Yeah, Pat, you should have married the banker. We'll be drinking and yelling so much. Can you pass me that suitcase? Pat, we're all Good job. Man. We are going to tell Santa to come visit us at Manny and Poppy's this year. When it all, when it's all, when it comes to, to an end and the big one, when the big one comes, Pat, those fucking pussies will be crawling in their holes, and I'll be out howling at the fucking moon. Inside the house. You want to help Mama pack? Yeah. Hey. hey! Okay, honey, no, let's stop that. Hey! What are you doing? I'm going to Detroit. Detroit is a shithole. What are you doing? We are going to the house until you can get a hold of yourself. Come on, Jim, let's go. The house? Did you... Yes. I sold the fucking house, Pat. You what? What do you think, I made him money? How are we gonna get to Detroit anyway, huh? Did you take money from my drawer, Pat? Did you take fucking money from my drawer? Did you fucking take money from my drawer, huh? Did you? Stop it! Jerry, stop. I'm sorry. Go downstairs. I'm sorry. Hey, Pat, oh, fuck. Oh. Pat. I'm sorry. It's the pressure. I'll be better once we make the playoffs. We love your dad, but Jesus we're not allowed Christ, to let him Pat. do something. Jerry, what are you gonna... Oh, what are I you need doing? the keys. We're gonna take the kids on the coal company. I need the right? goddamn keys. There's the fucking keys. Oh, Terry! I told you we'd be better once we meet the girls. Jerry, let's go. Come on, honey. Come on. is out of the playoffs. Their loss is Newfoundland's gain as India Beer presents the boys from Boston, from the brewers of India Beer. Nobody can get a thing past Hall tonight as Detroit dominates the Leafs in round one. Everyone thought Adams was crazy to trade Sachuk. Maybe he knew what he had in Hall more than he knew what Sachuk's battered body could give. Come on, guys. Let's get in the spirit. Making 25 bucks a game here. No playoff money, but it'll get us through the next season. So let's have some fun. Well, it looks like we're playing in the great outdoors tonight. Let's make the playoffs next year. Hey. Only goes first. You gotta look after your goalie. Who comes out to see a game like this? You hear anything from Pat? Well, good game. Leave it there, leave it there. Come on, here, here, here. Hey! Hey! You 
want your fucking shot. Hold up, hang on, hang on. You want your fucking shot. Hang on, hang on. Terry, Terry. Look, like I got 11 all the brothers, all right? You guys a bit competitive. Fine, it's an exhibition, all right? It's supposed to be a bit of fun. Keep the shots down, for Christ's sake. Good game, Terry. Thanks for that. Wolves out there? Nah. Moose, bear, not wolf. Seems like a place for wolves. You should come see my eyes. All right, Terry, you gotta tell me. Wings, Habs. Is it true if they're on the same train, you gotta put a dining car in between them? You wouldn't let them hunt together. <laughs> That's madness. Thank you. Yeah, my youngster did that. It's actually of my father. He taught me everything I know about fishing. Lost him at sea. Boat sunk, or? Well, he was a swan, a sealer. And uh, they would take the boats out. And when the pack ice was thick enough, they would just walk miles and miles and miles. Back in those times, maybe for days. And this one time, they were out pretty far, and a, a blizzard came in. And 120 of them got trapped, couldn't make a move for two days. And they didn't have the right gear on. They didn't uh, have anything to make a fire with. They're just out in the, in the blizzard waiting, right? Jesus. <clears throat> the ones who survived were the ones who kept moving, you know? They said that they, uh, that they would chew icicles off each other's faces just to, just to keep from being overtaken by the ice. I was in the crowd when the boat came in, and they brought the corpses off, and they were still frozen in, in the positions that they were in when they perished, right? How they found them. Many of them hunched over in prayer. Pop was one of them. Yeah, there's hard ways to make a living in this world. Yeah, but that said, he was the finest kind of man. Good to his family, quick with a joke. Enjoy his time on Earth, I think. I suppose there's not much more you can ask than that. What size are your, your uh, feet, Phil? What? I'll leave these with you. Your skates? Yeah. You will not. I don't like the Hebs that much. Oh, fuck hockey. I mean, nothing hinges on hockey, does it? It's hardly life or death. I'm sick as a dog. I'm exhausted all the time. So, so do you want the skates? Because I'll throw them down the hole. Well, there's no need to startle the fish. I quit. I'm out. I heard on the radio. Uh, 
I was wondering if you'd still like to live in a railway car with me. You're lucky I'm a Catholic, Terry, I swear. Go for it. Okay. I'm coming around. Send that one to your dad. Yeah. Look, Ann, Terry raised a pussy. <laughs> Where's his hat, Terry? Oh, it's in the car. He's fine. Okay. How's she doing? Good. Good. All right, here we go. She's cold. Oh. That's much better, right? All right, here we go. <sighs> Up you go. <laughs> Why don't we get out of here? Huh? Know, let's, let's go to California. We can do whatever we want, can't we? No one's telling me where I gotta live anymore. That's but true. how will Santa's sleigh ever get to us? That's a good point, son. That's that's a very good point. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that at home, okay? Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Warmer? Yeah. Over my dead body. No, oh, that backstabbing Ted Lindsay is behind this union crap. And one of those fucks thought it'd be hilarious to put a dead cat on my car engine and didn't see it for three days. Jack Adams wasn't fond of the players' union, but when he unloaded all the offending players, he was left with quite a deficit. I want to find out every one of them is behind this union bullshit. I'll trade them all to Siberia! He was out. And it would have been a good career. But... Jack was in trouble. And he knew that he could get anything he wanted out of him. My father said you didn't show up for work today. Catchers in baseball, closest to cousins. The safeguarding of home, healing of bones, the hatred that comes with defeat. And only one of you denied the leap and dash up the ice. What goalies know is side to side. They scrape, sweep. Like saints, they pray for nothing. Off days, what they want is space. They sit apart at bars. They know the length of streets in 20 cities. And try to make you happy when you lose. It's right, it's right to feel the way I do. Because, because I love you. Sawchuck's broken. George Hainsworth shut out record with an unbelievable 95th shutout. to my office. All right. You let them unionize right under your nose. Bauer, you're in the cage tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Terry, you got a second. By the time I met him, he tried to quit two or three times, get his wife back, Spend an October with his family. You like in the city? Good, I just want to give you a little intro. 
Well, you know how I coach in case it's different than what you're used to. Some fellas run their teams like dog teams. I don't. We're going with two goalies this year. Not to uh, set you against each other, but to take the pressure off. To the best out of both of you. Johnny gets that. He's a good guy. Hey, Bauer. Hey, shoes. Thanks, man. Can I see that one? The one just the one closest to me. This one? Yeah, just past it. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hey, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Why'd you do that to your shoes? <laughs> Johnny's playing way better. Yeah, right. You just want another night off. He leaves a bugger. Good game. Come on, coach. Elbow shot. Little braids were rough. You saw me last week. Is it what the press is saying about you? You're playing like the Sawchuck of old, a man possessed. No worries. This is what we're there for. Thanks for the pep talk, coach. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Grow up! You got a team of geriatrics here, and it's still a damn nursery school. Now listen up. It might be game six, but for us, it's game seven, boys. This is our home. We go back to Montreal tomorrow, all bets are off. We can win it tonight. Let the goalie go first.
36 years you gave him. What they did is damn disrespectful. What do you mean? They're making it sound like they let me go? Oh, I you know I just uh... sons of bitches. <sighs> you want another one? No. Thanks. I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, I grew up working in rat-infested grain elevators for 22 cents a day, saving for skates. No one should be that poor. All you mind is money. Chew someone's arm off to climb out of the hole you're in. Glad you did. You changed the game. I got to Detroit, they were bankrupt. I couldn't have fucked it up anymore. Picking players out of training camp, watching them grow. That was the stuff. You were like a father to us. I kept that job 36 years off your backs. Some father. If I were your father, I'd say this. You can leave the game now, in fine style. You're not getting any younger. Track those kids of yours down. Enjoy them. I tried that. Darren, you don't want to be some old soldier searching for a new war? Trust me. It's not what you said to me when you pulled me back to Detroit. Ice is thicker than blood, you said. You fell for that one, too. I never goddamn did any of this for you. I never did a fucking ounce of this for you. Or anybody else. Yeah. Why don't you get Pat a call? See if she'll take you back home. Home. You saw me out there. I can play this game forever. Folks, get ready for six new hockey teams as the league approves expansion. Oakland and L.A. round out the new six. Strange to think of playing hockey in the heat, isn't it? That's got to be on Mr. Terry Sawchuck's mind, as the Leafs, only allowed to protect one goaltender, choose Johnny Bauer over him. I'm excited to be part of the Los Angeles organization, and, and I look forward to playing the best hockey of my career here with the LA Kings. I sure am excited to be back with the Wings and look forward to playing the best hockey of my career right back here in Detroit. Certainly am looking forward to being in New York, playing the best hockey of my career as a New York Ranger.
Sawchuk is celebrating his 103rd shutout. Gave the kids some money for Cokes. Some Christmas they're having. She's her grandmother. Is she lucid? She keeps calling me Mitch. Terry. <sighs> Why don't we go to Disneyland? Maybe. How could you live with yourself knowing that you missed their faces the first time they saw Mickey Mouse? Your mother's gone. I'm sorry. Jackie gets tired. You want to give him a minute? The last time he was on ice was uh, to give the real goalie a rest. You ready? Yeah, just give me another minute for me. All right, all right. Wrap it up. Okay. In like a lion, they say. No, 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 no. I paid that bill two months ago. That was the bill for two months ago. The bill comes every no, no, month, I want to see. I want to see these. I'm getting fucking fleeced here. What do you mean by that? You think I got money? What, it's because you'll never make as much money as me, huh? Now, don't walk away. Hey, hey, don't walk away. And so, I got accustomed to the view from here. Stay low, stay forward. See what were you thinking when you let that easy one by in the third? Boys, who do you think you're talking to here? A poet, a fucking philosopher? What was I thinking? Sawchuck himself insists that fellow ranger Ron Stewart is not at fault for his critical condition. We are fighting. <sighs> But all his life, Terry took way worse knocks than that, and he always bounced right back. It's all just like a bad dream. One can only pray that the Red Wings' famous goalie will not succumb to a ruptured gallbladder sustained in the fight. Beat the season you had last year, getting here to Earth, you shall return. That's all I have to say about him, I guess. Get me another. How about one for my friend? You should get some food into your red. It was something when uh, above that door in the forum when you when you saw that sign and it said hockey tonight. Boy, when that organist began to hit these notes, it, it, just like a charge went through the the crowd and everybody felt. I felt it. I felt it. It was magic. In this tunnel, at this river, in the absence of time, 
it was here I could have been everything I dreamed of being. What was going through your mind, Terry? What was going through my mind? Stop the fucking puck. Jesus, what would you want going through my mind? And the thought hits. At one time or another, I might have been all I hoped to be. The guy you want behind you when the game is on the line. The guy you'd leave behind to guard your, your ice cold home. And that cuts a bit. Cuts and comforts. Maybe I was the guy. Maybe I was him. want the clock to run out. The losers need more time. So, Mr. Goalie, word has it you're leaving town again. Let the goalie go first. Open the door to the roaring lights and let the goalie go first. Fear what's on the way? What could there be about fear that I don't already know? Open the door. Infinity? Just another fucking number.